Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cass on the Benzuma Games channel. In today's video I would like to feature a build sent to me by uh, some contributors. In this case we're talking about the seven segment displays uh, which were built by Palsy and Amino from the OR server uh, and this design is pretty amazing. So the first thing you will notice is how amazing this thing looks. So the numbers are uh, three wide by five tall and amazingly enough they can be tiled uh, both horizontally and vertically uh, with only a single block of gap in between. And uh, to like top things off, uh, the screen is all redstone lamps, which is slightly harder to, to do and also looks really amazing, guys. So in order to demonstrate the capabilities of these displays and how they look and everything, I designed this little contraption here, which is basically an interface that uh, communicates to the displays and let me uh, fool around with them. All right, so what this thing lets us do is first we can select one of these cells. So we have a map here. So for instance, if, you, if we wanted to select this cell here uh, at the right top corner, we would have to type two and two is here. So I can just use number two. And then you can see that the display start blinking. And once again, I sped up the game. It's, it's running twice as fast now. Uh, and then I can basically uh, set it to edit mode and then put whatever number I want there. Let's see a seven there, for example. So I just need to press seven and now seven is going to be there. And then I can flip the lever again to save it to the display. So now it's going to display uh, the seven. If I want to alter anything else like this two right in the center, uh, which is number four, I just have to go there, number four. And if I change my mind, I can select something else like, let's say six, uh, which is here. So I can keep changing the selection without altering the numbers. And when I want to alter anything, I just have to set it to uh, right modes and then pick anything like set, let's set it to a eight. Now it's actually going to send the number there. Uh, and the, the numbers changing is not actually something from the display. It's from my circuit because it, this is how it increases. Actually a circuit based on Amina's uh, design as well. And then I can save it to, to, the, to the memory or thing back there and that's it guys so yeah pretty cool hello now let's take a look at the redstone i mean are you guys ready for this check this out look at this monstrosity guys <laughs> so on this side here uh, with the white blocks and tons of barrels you can see the redstone uh, by amino and Tazi. Uh, and uh, it, those things are responsible for controlling the displays, making the shapes and everything. And the technology they use it here is quite interesting. I can't wait to tell you guys more about how this thing works. Why do we have so many barrels in here? <laughs> and this messy thing back here is my redstone, which is responsible for uh, interpreting the signals that come from this one wire and changing modes, saving things to the memory, blinking the displays and things like that. So yeah, guys, guys, let's get to the details. This is one of the displays all by itself. And you can see how weird this design is with all the barrels, like everything getting staggered, <laughs> real crazy, almost like it was designed by a machine, like the things going diagonal. <laughs> uh, and here we have the controls. So uh, these are, are powered by signal strength. So you can see that we are displaying number eight in here. So if I flick this one, it should display a four. Uh, yeah, and this thing's very, very well synchronized, uh, as you guys will see. And uh, yeah, th these are the controls. You can turn off the display by flicking this lever in here. So this is what I use it to make the, the selections blink, because we don't have uh, any more space for other types of things in there. So yeah, basically I, I've shown you guys uh, um, signal strength controlled uh, second segment displays in the past, but uh, this one is just something else. Look how crazy and amazing this design is, and the way they stagger, like the way <laughs> the way that you tile them, like parts of the the build like getting side each other. Like as you can see here, this part of the build is kind of everything is mixed up in here. It's so so crazy, guys. I've never seen anything like this in Minecraft. Uh, and this is another seven segment display, but instead of encoding only the, the 10 digits for the decimal system like this one, it's going to encode uh, all the 16 digits for the hexadecimal system, which is why this is displaying an A, which is equivalent to 10. So as you can see here, if I flip this lever, I can pick any, any number. So it's five, four, let's try number three uh, over here. 
so she and those those digits th those guys they're so <laughs> they're so fancy uh see this is number three super super cool. let me actually show you all the digits And finally, we have this really small one. If I fly up here, you guys can compare the sizes and uh, check this out. Guys. This is really ridiculously small for a display like this. <laughs> it has what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers. And those two or three are probably used for like doing the shapes and everything. So it's really impressive <laughs> how small we can get these things to work. And also powered by uh, Sigma Strength. Uh, and but this one has something special about it it doesn't go in the order you would expect so as i showed you guys if you power the first one you're gonna get the first number second one second number and uh, there's a correspondence but with this one we get different numbers so uh by default it's still nine and if you flick the first lever it goes to five <laughs> so the order it actually goes is right here you can see uh in which order uh, order everything goes uh, and even uh, if you flick this one you can even turn it off and these ones are going to do some weird stuff, like everything here is going to turn it off. But these, I guess, are going to do this little shape here at the bottom. Uh, and this is because uh, the method they're using to encode all this information is going to, to, do, to have some collateral effect. So as you can see here, uh, we have kind of a defined pattern here, right? Let's look at the other side because it's easier to see from these sides. See, there's clearly a pattern going on in here. And this is exactly uh, what the authors of these, uh, this design are calling the layers, uh, which I will try my best to explain a little bit about. I almost forgot to mention it before, uh, but they also included a binary to signal strength level decoder. So basically, instead of having a redstone line or just something that sets uh, the, the signal strength levels uh, uh, at the back for the displays you can use binary inputs by just you know inputting your signals in here and this is specifically designed to fit uh, within that shape in there so that you can tile your uh, your displays like this amazing way that you see back there so basically here uh, you have these values in here so let's see if we wanted to get a seven uh, we could do a four plus a two so six and then this should be seven and as you can see here we get a seven just net you need to hook this up to the back of the display and then you can use binary and basically do your calculators and computers and then just have the numbers displayed this lamp is where everything begins so you can see here that we're, we're trying to get somewhere see the barrels the comparators just like we see back there so let me demonstrate so when this circuit is not powered uh the lamp is on but as 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 soon as we flick this lever the lamp turns off and then if we flick this second lever it turns on again so here is the kind of control that we have here and uh, it's easy to understand with this he yeah, actually wrote the, the little equations in here so what we have here is single item single item so th these barrels have signal strength level one both of them so when this is not powered so this guy is subtracting from this so there's no power here but there is power coming from this guy which is why this lamp is powered in the next step when we flip the lever we get sigma strength level one in here which will subtract from one so it gets zero from here and then here is now one but it's being subtracted from one as well so it gets zero and finally when we get this to be level two so two subtracts from one so we get a zero from this guy if we could place a redstone dust here so see zero but here now it's two uh, and then we subtract one from two and then we get one as a result so this is the the beginning of everything and the and then we keep, we can keep adding more and more layers of these uh, with different <laughs> values inside the barrels and then we get to a situation like this so see it's the same principle but we have f a bunch of layers here one two three four layers i think i don't know how they how exactly they count it if if it's through these little diagonal blocks uh, and with this example you will possibly clearly understand what these things are doing so basically we want to map our inputs into our output and we want it to do something so uh, the thing we wanted to do the desired result is actually uh, drawn in here so for instance uh, you can see now that this is empowered and that we have the lamp on the left 
uh, turned on and the lamp on the right uh, in relation to our position turned off, uh, which is exactly what you see here. So basically the, the lamp on the left is going to be re represented by the top and the lamp on the right is going to be represented by the bottom. So if we flick this one, we should turn off both lamps and that, that's what you see. If you flick this one, you should be able to turn on both lamps at the same time. If you flick this one, you're going to be able to, let's flick this one, it's going to be like it is. And if we flick it, this one, it's going to invert the result. So see, so basically the technique that they're using uh, is capable of mapping whatever output you choose into the input that you have uh, through a encoder. And the encoder uh, are these layers. So let's, let's check this out. So we have a 14, 7, 11. So these numbers are crazy. So basically, I don't know exactly what method these guys use it, but I believe it's some sort of brute force. And uh, they mentioned that they have some sort of table where depending on the kind of results that they want, they just have to check the table and see. Uh, it's basically going to give you the, the values for the barrels as well as the states for uh, the comparator. So we're going to have some of the comparators be uh, in comparison mode while other comparators are going to be in subtraction mode. And last but definitely not least, he also added this uh, little contraption in here with the, the values in there. Uh, and added this sign in here. So basically he's saying that uh, this tiny trick is essential to making this work. Uh, what he's talking about is the fact that we have a, a single block in here, but because this barrel is signal strength level one, this comparator is going to output level one. And because this barrel was level nine, this guy is going to output level nine, as you can see here. If you want to check out those builds by yourself, you just need to download the map. So the map is going to be available for you guys to download, uh, as well as the schematics as provided by the original creators. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please leave a like. Of course, this was a lot of work, but I think it's worth uh, showing the community what some people are doing all around there. So, and I believe I will be featuring more people in the future and more different builds from uh, other creators. So uh, if you feel like ha having your build featured, on my channel just contact me on discord or on twitter or just post a comment something like that so once again guys thank you very much for watching hope to see you soon goodbye